everybody, General Discord here, and welcome back once again to Discord in Minecraft. I'm inside the cabin, it's looking uh, pretty unfurnished right now. Uh, of course, we just moved in here last week, so not really much has been going on. Actually, not even last week, on uh, Sunday, I did two episodes last week. Wow! Um, got myself a little more organized, uh, went and did a little bit of mining, got some more iron, got some more coal, not a whole ton. Uh, today I kind of want to work out the farm situation, and before I do that, did I grab any reeds? Oh, I did. I'm a genius. Ha ha. Genius. Genius. We're going to need some fences, too, so let's go ahead and make some fences here. How y'all doing? Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing pretty well today. It is Wednesday, August 27th, 2014. Just after 5 p.m., I'm just uh, hanging out, hanging out at home, relaxing. I think I might still be in peaceful mode. One second here. Yep. I was on the test world briefly for a little bit, just testing out a couple different things. Nothing really fun. Just looking at a couple different uh, designs for some farm type stuff. Nothing I decided to use for this place here, so it is not relevant to our interests. Um, but yeah, just kind of hanging out here. Doing some stuff here. I should do that because I need those for gates. Haha. -ha. Genius. Genius. Okay, so today we're going to work on some farm stuff right here. Like I said last time, what I want to do is I want to make the farms like this. I want to build them around the existing lakes that I have here in the mountains because I think that's kind of neat. I, mean, I do have to, you know, tear down some of the terrain like this here. And what I plan on doing, actually, this uh, this whole big stone basin I have right here, this is all going to be grass. I'm going to convert this all to grass. Plant some more trees. Make myself a walkway through there. I have to dig out some of the grass in front of the house here anyway, too. So I will be doing that at some point because this is this is a nice nice little hill here, but it's a little too close to my house, to be honest. So anyway, as I said, hope you all are doing well. Uh, it's been a nice couple of days for me. I missed uh, the episode of Mad Pack that was supposed to be coming out uh, yesterday, which is Wednesday for you guys. Sorry about that. I just have been kind of unmotivated with the Mad Pack right now because it's, it's so laggy. I really love the Mad Pack, but it's so dang laggy. It's really just frustrating to play sometimes. There'll be times when I consistently get only a single-digit FPS, and I'm already out of I'm already out of tools. Uh, single-digit FPS, so that is that's quite frustrating. I don't I don't like that, and it kind of makes me wonder how long the Mad Pack series is even going to keep going on. I really, like I said, I really like it. Uh, it seems to be pretty uh, pretty decently popular on the channel, but it's frustrating to play sometimes and I always feel at the end of the day that it's not the best video I could offer you guys so I don't know maybe I would have to switch to doing something on feed the beast or tech it something that just runs a little bit better than the mad pack like I said as much as I like it it just doesn't run very well on my computer uh, that'll change when I get a new computer but that's probably not going to be until early next year would be my guess I'm going to build a desktop. My uh, sister's fiancé is going to help me with that. I think I've mentioned this multiple times that he is uh, uh, a whiz with building computers. He's going to help me because I have no idea what I'm doing in that process. No idea whatsoever. Um, let's see if I have a hoe in here. Uh, one thing that we need that I do not have. I'll take more seeds, though. Uh, don't have any carrots or potatoes. So we're gonna kind of have to do some, uh, gonna kind of have to do some uh, zombie killing to try and get those because there's no villages nearby. There's no biomes even nearby that have villages in them. So that's gonna be fun to try and figure out how to do all that. Oh, my phone's going off here. Phone going off. Uh, give me one second, guys. I'm going to check what's on my phone. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, nothing important. Just a friend saying, Oakley Dokley. Literally, that is what she texted me. Oakley Dokley. 
Good old Flanders. Oops, that's not dirt. There we go. Okay, um, so these are going to be regularly shaped, uh, regularly shaped uh, farms. Um, I'm going to have uh, the fencing on the top layer of dirt that's like, like that would be up here, like right here. I'm not going to put fencing down there because that would that just wouldn't be the point. But I do want fencing because we have to keep we have to keep animals and mobs out of here if we can. Um, I'm also going to need to go and get glowstone. Glowstone is going to be very useful. It's going to look nicer, I think, than just torches. Uh, for right now, I might have to make do with some torches. And we'll see how much of this we can get. Uh, see how much of this we can get. Uh, nope, not you. Dirt. Thank you. See how much of this we can get filled in today. Um, uh, try and think. I'll try and think if I can think of some sort of story to tell you guys. Okay, here's here's a good one for you guys. Um, here's one that at least I like it or something like that. It's a very it's a very fond memory. Um, when I transferred, I, I went to two schools before I wound up settling at the University of Colorado. I went there for the rest of my college time, and I got my degree from there in English Lit and all that sort of stuff. Um, so when I went there, one of the things that I was most excited about was getting to go to a CU football game. Uh, the Buffaloes are the mascots of the University of Colorado. And I was just beyond excited to be able to actually go to a football game as a college student. Uh, my previous school had football, but it wasn't, you know, big time college football like CU was. So it was pretty exciting that I was going to get the opportunity to go to big games. And the first game I got to go to was one of the biggest ones of the season that year. And it was against our in-state rivals, the Colorado State Rams. I'm bringing this up to you guys because this Friday, which is tomorrow, uh, CU plays CSU uh, in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. That's the that's the big uh, oh man I'm out of seeds already. That's the big uh, matchup between those two, the yearly matchup, and it's down in Denver at the uh, Broncos football stadium down there. Um, get out of the way, chicken. Um, down in Denver, and that's where it was back in the day when I went to the first. Went to the my first college football game, or my first CU football game as a college student. I'd gone to other CU games uh, when I was younger, like in elementary school. And actually, when I was in elementary school, was the first and only time the Buffs ever won the national championship in football. Represent 1990. Um, so anyway, uh, that's when that happened. Um, so anyway, sorry, getting distracted here. <laughs> Uh, I'd been to games as, you know, uh, high, or not high school, uh, you know, elementary school student, but hadn't been years and years and years, so the fact that I was getting to go see my team, what was now my team, play, and I was a student at the school, was just really exciting. So I got together with a group of friends, there's about six or seven of us, I think, we wound up getting on to the... Uh, CU commissioned buses. There were buses that were taking the students down to the game. Went down to the game, and it was looking pretty gray out towards the mountains. Uh, the stadium has a great view of the mountains, by the way. It's it's just wonderful. Uh, it was it was looking pretty gray. It had rained most of the day before that, and a little bit during the day. But we were we didn't think it was going to be much of an issue uh, for the actual game. Uh, so anyway. Uh, we went, oh, yoink, we went to the game, we got into our seats, we were in the upper deck, facing towards the south, that's where our seats were, it was great, um, and it was, it was a really exciting moment, because now there, I was there with these new friends of mine, people I didn't know all that well, but, uh, was getting to know really well, uh, I had spent some time with them, and this was our first real time to, to hang out and have fun as friends together, and I was getting to go to football game, and it was, just really, really exciting for me. So the game itself was one of the most fun games I've ever been to. Not just because it was the first one, the first real one. Man, I'm out of seeds again already. Um, we'll work on a different farm while I'm talking about this. If I have other farms, no wait, I can do I can do fences. That's right. And I'm gonna let stuff spawn. 
because I want to try and get some zombies over here so we can get some potatoes and carrots. Uh, anyway, uh, game was super fun. It was really, really back and forth affair. Like uh, CU would score, then CSU would score right away, and uh, the stadium was packed. You know, there's there's been years when it hasn't been quite as full as it was that year. Uh, but let me tell you, it was just packed for, for both sides, for both teams. And that just made it even more exciting. You know, the CSU CSU fans were on one side of the stadium and the CU fans were on the other. Um, and it was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth uh, throughout the first half. And then came halftime and we were just kind of uh, chilling in our seats. And then the second half came about. And that's when the weather decided to turn really bad, like really, really bad. Like, so bad that they had to call a 30-minute delay because of lightning. That's how bad the weather got. Um, but one of the coolest things about that, about that thing, uh, it started raining, and the Buffs had the ball, and they were driving. Uh, they were trying to do some stuff, trying to move the ball. They were having a little bit of trouble. Then all of a sudden, it starts pouring. It just starts pouring. And the CU quarterback launches the ball downfield. And their star receiver, and I, I wish I could remember his name, but I can't remember his name for the life of me. He catches it, outruns the CSU defender, and as he's crossing into the end zone for the touchdown, this gigantic, or actually when he caught the, when he caught the ball, this gigantic flash of lightning seared over the stadium. And as he was crossing the goal line for the touchdown, that's when one of the biggest rumbles of thunder I've ever heard in my life happened. It was just such a cool moment uh, to have him, you know, catch the ball with all this lightning and then to have him race into the end zone when the thunder was rolling. It was just, it was such a cool moment and it's stuck with me ever since. Uh, so anyway, that's not quite the end of the story. Um, oh, jerk. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. I can't hit you. I'm in the water. Eh. Um, so what happened? Ooh, there's three of them now. Awesome. Uh, it was pouring, and at that point, uh, most of my friends had gone into the shelter of under the stadium. Wow, I'm really hurt here. Holy cow. Hey, you, give me some string. I need a bow. Ow. Ha-ha, <laughs> bow time. Uh, anyway, most of my friends had gone underneath the stadium, the stands, to get some uh, protection from the rain. But me and my one good buddy who actually convinced me to transfer to CU, uh, we stayed out in the rain because we were already soaked at that point. It's just like, um, well, whatever. Let's just stay out here. And it wound up being one of the most memorable experiences of my life, just uh, just going out there and sitting in the rain and listening to the, CS, uh, the CU band play music in the pouring rain while we waited for the lightning delay to be over. And then the best part was um, the Buffs wound up winning the game. They won 42 to 35, I think. Like I said, it was just a it was a real back and forth, run and gun type of game where just one team would score, then the other would score, then the other would come back and score. And in the end, the right team won. The right team being CU, of course, because that was my team. So that's that's a bit of a random story for you guys there, but uh, it I think I think it was really a uh, really uh, a good time to tell it. Not that it makes any sense to you guys because you weren't there, but it was one of the most fun games I've ever been to. This was back in 2003. You can look it up for yourselves if you don't believe me. I wouldn't lie to you. Not about, not about college football, at least. And I don't know if I'm going to actually watch the game this year. I might have other plans. Um, so we'll see if that ends up happening or not. Oh, come on with the skeletons, man. You guys don't drop anything. No! No! Hey, you. Hit, this, hit the creeper. Yes! Aha! Oh, it's the crappy music disc. Hey! Hey! Stop it. What do you give us? Thirteen. Blech. That one's boring. No one likes thirteen. That's the one that everyone has fifty copies of. Meh. Where's some zombies? Zombies! I mean, it was kind of cool that he made the, the music disc, but I'm a little disappointed at which one it was. I don't see any zombies. Seriously, again with the skeletons? It's nothing but skeletons and creepers out here today. Jeez Louise. 
Uh, so yeah, I figured that was a that was a uh, time sensitive story. Oh my goodness gracious, guys! Seriously, with that, enough with the rapid fire. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yep, yep. Stop hitting me. Stop it. Wow. Ow. 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 Man, oh man, not having diamond armor is rough. It's been a while since I've gone with all iron. Eh. Come on. Give me a potato or a carrot, you jerks. Haha. Ooh, he dropped a bow. Sweet. That's useful. Eh. Come here. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Now nah, there's just one. Your friend's dead, buddy. And now you're dead, too. <laughs> So I don't know, that's that's a random story for you guys from my college days. I'll continue to bring out just random stories from my life uh, here and there. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway because it's, it keeps things interesting for me. And I don't really have enough subscribers to you know say, ooh, potato, yes. I don't really have enough subscribers to say, hey, guys, ask me questions and I'll answer those in a video. Because I, I say that a lot and I don't get any questions to answer. I'm so alone. Oh, that's a that is a pack of spiders right there. Wow, wow, that was that's that's a lot of spiders right there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. You die. You die. You all die. Thank you. They all died. Every last one of them is dead. I need some food. There's another spider coming for me. He's coming right for me. Ow! Right in the face. Right in the face again. Oh, I've got all the string I need now, though. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Man, all that talking. Just crazy talking in a row. You dead. Thank you for the arrows. I appreciate it. Baby zombie. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Baby zombie bad. Baby zombie bad. Where he is? There he is. Okay. You die. Eh. No. 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 Oh, there's another baby. Oh, another baby. Oh, bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Come on, come on, come on. Die. Give me, give me a carrot. Oh no, not another baby. Please no. Please no. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, no way. Nope, run away. Run away. More spiders. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, at the creepers. Look at that. That's five creepers. That's seven creepers in shot right there. No spider. Ow. Stab it. Okay, this episode has quickly devolved into me killing all the mobs and getting attacked by all the mobs. Is this guy looking at me? No, he's not looking at me. This guy is, though. Meh. Yeah. Oh, he's looking at me now. Okay, wow, there's, there's many things here. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Nope. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Nope. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Nope. 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 Thank you for not blowing up. Thank you for dying. Eh. You die too. Eh. So many things. I don't think you've ever seen this many creepers at night. In a single night before. That was a lot of things. You, drop a carrot. I need a carrot. Please drop a carrot. You didn't drop a carrot. Jerk. You, I cannot have you being near my farm. I'm trying to build this thing. Actually, I'm really not. I'm doing a bad job of doing the farm. Okay. Any more zombies over here? I don't see any more zombies. Yeah. There's a creeper over here, though. We're gonna we're gonna kill this guy over here real quick, and then we will resume building the farm. Nope, nope, don't blow up, spider. Go away. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Okay. So that was a rather pointless excursion. <laughs> anyway, oh my inventory is just plugged full now. Oh, it's just full of junk. Okay. So what was I talking about? I was talking about football. Um, but yeah, uh, I might see the game on Friday. I'm not sure if I will or not. I might have other plans, and the other plans would take precedent over the game, unfortunately. But that's the sacrifice you gotta make. Sometimes you gotta make the sacrifices. 
Okay, let's see here. Might do some sort of thing in the middle where I can put light. I'll probably just end up doing glowstone underwater. You know, that seems simple enough. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go. This episode's almost long enough by now, I think. I've just rambled endlessly and fought monsters constantly. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, I'm kind of going to be a little random with these episodes here. They're going to be a little more random than my usual fare. Wow, look at me. I'm all covered in arrows. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's plant a flower. Clear a space in our inventory. There's a flower there. And there's a flower there. I saw a creeper over there. There's a spider here. Let's kill him. Wow, I almost completely drained the sword last night. Jeesh. There's that. Okay, we good, we good. Okay, everything is good. Alright, so now I just have to determine where the entrances to the farm are going to be. I'll probably just put them at parallel sides here. And for those, let's do... Mm, let's do some... Let's do some stairs here. Some stone brick stairs. Why not? I think what's probably going to end up happening is I might put a border around here, like these grass blocks here would be replaced by uh, be replaced by stone brick and cobblestone, something like that. And as soon as uh, the 1.8 update comes out, which, God willing, is on Tuesday, um, I will be able to make uh, mossy stone brick and cracked stone brick and uh, mossy cobblestone. Well, I mean, first I need uh, I need to find vines, which I, I do not have. I've not found any of those. I need to find a, a jungle or a uh, jungle or a what's the other thing called? Swamp. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, that's not where I want to put that. Thank you. Thank you. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably just hang out here. I'll AFK for a bit. Let this wheat grow, and that will be the thumbnail for this episode since this is the only farm that we did, because I am terrible at making videos. I'm so sorry. I tried. I really did. I thought we would make plural farms, but it's just the one. Uh, so anyway, you guys get the idea. In fact, since I have this here, how about I just go ahead and do a border around here, because I, I think I'm just going to plan on doing that. Um, I'm going to put a quick border around this place, uh, around underneath the fence here, and I'll be right back when that's done, and then we'll end the episode. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, that is done to my satisfaction. My inventory is still a clogged mess, but that's okay. So yeah, this is, this is the look I think I would like for the farms right here. I'll probably uh, clean up this a little bit. I'll probably replace this gravel with dirt. And when I get to the end, or not the end, uh, the nether, eventually, um, we'll do that here in one of these upcoming episodes. Um, then I will be able to... Did I get no extra seeds from that? Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Obama. Uh, when I get to uh, the nether, I'll get some glowstone. We'll get some lighting in the middle here. And this place will look pretty. Um, I also might... I don't like the... You see the dirt peeking out from under there? I might replace that with uh, maybe some smooth stone or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, that's that's what our farms are going to look like. Um, I'm going to start the potato farm as well at some point here. I just, I just have to plant and harvest this one potato repeatedly. In fact, I probably should... Well, no, I won't. I won't plant it in here. I was going to plant it in there. I'm not going to. It's fine. It's fine the way it is. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching once again. So glad I got that one potato. That's fantastic. That's, that's very helpful. Some more arrows. Wow, that's a actually decent bow that skeleton dropped. Let's, uh, let's take that. Let's take that with us here. Um, some gunpowder. We didn't have any of that. That's good. Well, I'll put the reeds back in there. I never got around to using them today. Sorry, reeds. Sorry. I got some rose bushes here too. I picked up some of those when I went to went and did a little bit of exploring, so we'll be able to use those soon. 
Um, gravel, Blanc. Sorry, I just like having a clean inventory whenever I can manage it. And that chest is full. Cool. Very cool. Maybe next time we'll work on like some storage. I think what I said I was going to do is I was going to build like a storage thing right over here in the side of the hill. Uh, because there's our mine shaft. We still have to work on that at some point. But maybe we'll do like a, a storage a storage thingy right here maybe. Let's go ahead and mark that and maybe next time we'll do that. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Once again, thanks for bearing with me, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, remember to leave a like or a dislike. If you didn't like it, they're really all the same pretty much, although I like seeing likes better because it means you like the content maybe. All right. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.